So polyphonic synthesizers with two oscillators, then we have a um, MOOC style filter and mixer with independent inverting stages for each input and of course uh, VCAs here. Then on the upper row we have an analog generators, LFO, voltage control to LFO here, another envelope, multiples, buffered ones, also uh, with the capability to invert signals, sample and hold circuit and well of course not a DIY module, a joystick controller from Döpfer, which is quite great. And then we have a Stein and Parker filter here, a 2 pole or 12 dB per octave filter, uh, which has separate low pass, high pass, and bound pass inputs. And the patch I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm just going to use the high pass input. Then we have a very small amplifier, which I'm mainly used to, to amplify signals like guitars or microphones to uh, modular uh, to signal levels that um, are useful for the modular synth. Then we have a Lexicon MX200 effects device, which I consider uh, being very important because, um, well, just a little bit of reverb and still I adds a lot to synthesizer sounds. So I never really play. Uh, or use the modular synth try uh, always add some effect. Then on the upper part we have um, still in progress um, Stanley Lunetta inspired digital circuitry. It's basically a very cheap, cheaply done digital modular system but it's quite fun to build, it doesn't cost a lot and it's, um, it adds a certain flavor to the analog modules but of course it's just um, it's just a wooden panel and here, you see here is a sticker from the Haha <laughs> Fresh website um, which has great information about circuit bending and building stuff like this thing here. Then on this side we have a CVR gate sequencer, then very important a tap generator or so to say LFO which doesn't have a frequency knob but you can tap in the tempo and what's special about this thing is that you can also use not only the basic frequency you tap in but also a multiplied version of it just a very quick demonstration because it's one of the module I really designed myself so um, I think there are not so many like this you can make it slower so you see that's the multiplied output has now the same speed as the non-multiplied one. You can make it twice as fast, uh, four times as fast, and so on. Let's skip it back to twice as fast. Then this module here is a simple digital or binary counter. Oh, we just see it's not really screwed on correctly, but well, don't care. And here we have a multiplexer. It's just a device where you can distribute signals from one input or output into one of these eight outputs. The lower part we have uh, a modified version of Ray Wilson's um, mini synthesizer, I think. And then below the home built drum machine, um, there are also videos on my YouTube profiles on that specific machine.